Video 9, How to Create a Song, Part 5 of 5. Hello! In this last tutorial, we are going to fine edit our project. What is still missing from our song is a bass line, so let's create one. We need another analog generator. Let's connect it to the compressor. We expose the timeline, double-click inside to create a new pattern, and move it until it matches the starting point. From the menu, we choose Pattern Properties and assign to this pattern one track because the bass is monophonic, or in other words, is going to play just one note at a time. The track will need 96 lines or steps which correspond to the length of one repetition of our melody. Now we can unlock the tracker and write an easy bass line that fits the harmony we created. From the menu in the timeline, we choose Clone and clone our pattern three times until it fits the entire length of the song. Now that all the elements of this song are in place, we can play the song. Let's solo the bass line to tweak its analog generator. Okay, now it's fine, and we can unmute the other instruments. I like it, but there is still something we can do to make it sound even better. It is very important that you carefully listen to each element of the piece of music you want to create in order to understand what could sound softer, louder, or better. You can solo or mute single elements to help you listen more carefully. Take for example this clap sound. At the moment, the sound goes through a reverb module, but I would prefer that the lowest part of the sound is not reverberated. To do this, let's choose a filter module from the effects menu and put it before the reverb so that we can filter the clap first before it gets reverberated. Let's play that solo clap again. The idea is to get rid of the low frequencies and reverberate only the highest frequencies. Therefore, we need to set the filter to its high-pass mode, so only the highest frequencies will pass through. Now we can tweak the filter. We quit the solo mode and listen to the song again. Let's solo the chords section. These chords are still too much in the foreground. I would like to give them a far away effect. To achieve this, we could use a delay and an EQ module. The idea is to route the output of this amplifier, which collects the chord module's outputs, to the delay. As the name suggests, 
The delay will delay a sound by a certain amount of time, and this will help us to make our chords sound far away. Then we have to route the output of the delay to an EQ or equalizer. An equalizer strengthens or weakens the energy of specific frequency bands. In our case, we will use three bands, low, mid, and high. Let's first play our chords in solo mode to tweak the modules we've added, and then we'll play the full song. This series of tutorials has been meant to provide you the basics of digital sound processing techniques and to show you how to use them to compose in the Sunvox environment. Now you are free to arrange the different elements of our song in multiple ways along the timeline to create a longer or totally different piece of music. For example, you could mute the drums, double the bass, choose different waveforms for the synthesizers, even edit them in real time to create dynamic effects, or simply write new chords. You could use this project as a template to create your own piece of music and assign different parts to be played by groups of children, and much more. I hope you have fun.